Hey folks, we're back over here with Scotty at Scotty's Gun Works. And uh, Scott, how you doing tonight? Doing real good. Yeah. Okay, well what, what do you got going on? Well right now what we're going to do is we've got a Bursa here, a little 22 semi-automatic pistol. And the problem this uh, gun right here is having is it's wanting to jam up. Okay. And I'll tell you one of the uh, main problems with these particular little guns, or just about any little 22 like this right here that wants to jam up, I'm just going to tell everybody uh, what they can do that most likely will fix it. If it's not the magazine, in this particular case here, it's not the magazine. It's the uh, loading, the feeding ramp. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of show you how to uh, take that down. And you want to be real careful. You don't want to take more off than you can afford. Uh, because once you take it off, you can't put it back on. So you want to go slow. Uh, I done looked at this one a while ago, and it, it'll take very little to fix this one. Uh, so I'll kind of show you the procedure. All right, well, let's get started. All right, well, what we'll do is we'll safety check it. No bullets in there, no magazine in it. And what we'll do, and by the way, you know, I call this a Bursa, which it is a Bursa. Let me go ahead and correct this, but it's a Firestorm Bursa. Really, the only difference between the Bursa and the Firestorm is the trigger guard. Uh, I think the Bursa's got a little point that comes out right here, and the Firestorm's rounded off. Uh, to my knowledge, I believe that's all the difference there is. I know the inside's pretty much the same, so anyway. So anyway, what we'll do is we'll take this part, pull that back, pull a little lever down, come on back with it, lift up, go forward. And you want to make sure, you know, another thing too, while, I'm, uh, while I've got this spring off, now this one here fits pretty the same, pretty much the same on each side. Uh, most of the time it, it'll be real tight and you'll have to force it on. In this particular case here we don't have to, but most of them are like that. And a lot of times what people do, they'll make a mistake and they'll put the easy side on, and then when the gun cycles, it clutches up on that barrel and causes it to jam up. And it's just a uh, matter of not putting the spring on right. But like I said, this particular one right here is pretty much easy on each side. So anyway, it's just kind of, I just kind of throw that. I just thought I'd throw that out there, you know, while we uh, had the subject here. Yeah, that's good advice. Yeah. But anyway, what we'll do is we'll take it a little part, and then you got a little ramp right here. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Get in focus here. Okay. Give me a little pointer here. And basically, what we're going to do here is we're going to just knock this little edge off right here. If you can see it or not. And you don't want to take much off, just want to knock that little edge off and then we want to uh, smooth out the uh, the chamber. A lot of times what I'll use is a little tool like this right here, which is a little cutting tool. Got a real fine little point on it. And we'll just get in there and I'll get me a magnifying glass here. I don't know, you probably won't be able to see what I'm doing. Mm, it's going to be difficult. It's kind here, of let me get up here and I'll kind of, and you can see how that right there, it's going to be kind of difficult on the burst because the barrel and everything's all made together. But you'll just kind of hit it at that angle and just kind of cut that down a little bit. And uh, you won't use this particular tool on the feeding ramp, but you'll just kind of knock that little edge off right there. Knock that little edge off where it kind of, you know, where the round of smooth up, you know, kind of flow up in there, I guess is the word I'm looking so for. So it can't catch on the, the rim of the bullet itself. Yeah. It, it, you know, it slides right on up Well, what in there. it does is it'll uh, get middle ways of the shell and it'll, it'll bridge itself. Okay. Is what, what happens. But you knock that little edge off in there. And it just flows up in there better. Okay. You know, and then we'll just smooth it out. So I'll go ahead and do that. And that that should reduce a lot of the failure to feeds that we've got exactly, with this gun. Exactly. Yeah, that yeah. way it won't bridge itself. Gotcha. You know? So I'll just kind of get under the light here. You probably won't be able to see what I'm doing, but I'll just kind of cut that out with this right here. Mm, yeah, it's going to be kind of difficult. I'll yeah, I'm cutting it right now. Can you see anything at all? No, not really. Just your hands. Okay. Well, anyway, what I'm doing is I'm cutting that out here. I'm, I done cut it, so I don't want to cut too much of it out. Just like so, just knocking that edge off. And then what I'll do is I'll put it in a, a little vise like this one right here. Okay, come over here to this side. And I don't know that this is where the position I'm gonna hold it in, but I'll know here just in a second when I get the Dremel tool down here. Because basically all I wanna do here now, make sure that's secure, get the Dremel tool, kinda of look at it, yeah. And from what, I, what you may have to do, that's got kind of a wide ramp on it, and you'll have to take, you know, uh, basically what you'll have to do is just cut your, your Dremel tool. This is one of those uh, type Dremel bits that's already got the, um, the rouge already made into it. Basically like a pencil eraser. And what I do is I'll just take and cut the Dremel tool along and kind of work it down like this right here on a piece of metal. And what I'm doing is I'm making it fit that ramp. You know, just kind of look at it, see how more blunt off it is now? Mm-hmm. And I'll bring it over here and I'll look at it, and that's, that's, that's what we want right there, a kind of a blunt cut. 
Okay. I'll just cut this right here. I'm just kind of smooth it out a little bit. Kind of going up into the chamber. See how it's lightening up now? Yes, it is. That's smoothing right on up in there, and it, that way the round will flow up in there from the magazine. And that'll correct most of your problem. If it's not your magazine or your spring ain't turned around backwards, you know, then that right there should do you justice. Smooth is better, huh? Yeah. You know, uh, I'm going to say that right there is probably do, a, do what we want it to do. And then after you get that part done, what you want to do is if you've got any compressed air or anything, we'll just take it over here to the air compressor. Okay. Which I don't think the air compressor is cut on. No, it's not. <laughs> we'll just take your Q-tip or a little, little gun uh, bore, cleaner, bore cleaner brush. I'll and, snake it when I get home. Yeah, just run through there like yeah. that. Just want to make sure there ain't no material up in there. But that was a pretty easy fix right there. And we did cut a little bit of it out before the video. Uh, but that right there should do uh, the trick for you. Just remember, don't take no more out than you can afford. You know, if you have to take a little out, go test it and come back to the shop. If it's doing it again, take a little more out. Um, just basically don't take more out than you can afford. All right. Well, thank you very much. No problem. Hi, YouTube. This is Chris with uh, the Poi Boy Special Channel again, and I am going to be test firing the Bursa of Firestorm 22 that Scott worked on for us, and we're going to be using Remington Thunderbolts. So let's check it out. 